Let's guide the youngsters and the adults so that they understand that they must only wash that, that which is beneficial. They must only wash that which is going to give them the sunnah in their lives. Put the class in your life. Put sincerity in your life. This can be a way of making sure that people understand the din Islam, the legacy of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam who always lived. The Quran is giving us good news, good news that guide us in this universe and the hereafter brothers in Islam. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب شرح لي صدري وسر لي أمري وحل لقدة من لساني يفقه قولي Brothers and sisters in Islam and all the viewers of ITV welcome to the Sheikh Piri show on DSTV channel 347 and online we get us on live streaming on www.itvnetworks.tv My beautiful topic today is called love Love, that's L-O-V-E. All of us, we need love. Love is wonderful. Love is very beautiful. Love is like how you see the, the, uh, the, the scenes or the, the, the visions of roses in a plantation or in a farm. Imagine you, you get an opportunity to see roses, a big plantation of roses in a farm. That is the kind of scene that is like love. Love is beautiful. Love is actually wonderful. When you see it from yonder, love is so wonderful and majestic. But what is love about? What are the logistics and the jits behind love? So this is what we're going to talk about today, inshallah, mainly on the aspect of love amongst us as human beings and amongst us as human beings with the Creator. Oh, mate Allah Azjal, with our friends, with our family, with our father, with our mother, with everybody in our environments. What is love all about? So, love is mentioned about six, nine times in the Holy Quran. In Arabic, love means uh, hub in Arabic. And in other languages, for example, the language that you speak here in South Africa, we say utando. So, love is also when Man loves mostly the things of this dunya or the things of this universe. And love as humanity, as mankind, how we love one another. And man's love almighty God. So that is another point of love. God loves not and God loves men who are righteous. He loves not men who are not righteous. So make sure that for you to please almighty God, almighty Allah, is for you to embrace real love for the Creator. So these are the people that Allah SWT loves. So brothers and sisters in Islam, let us look at what Allah SWT says about love in the Holy Quran. قُلْ إِن كُنْتُمْ تُحِبُّونَ اللَّهَ فَاتَّبِعُونِي يُحْبِبِكُمُ اللَّهُ وَيَخْفِرْ لَكُمْ ذُنُوبَكُمْ وَاللَّهُ أُغَفُورُ الرَّحِيمُ قُلْ إِن كُنْتُمْ تُحِبُّونَ اللَّهَ فَاتَّبِعُونِ That if you love, if you, O Muhammad, if you love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then follow me. So, if you follow Almighty Allah, that is real love. So, brothers in Islam, many times people tend to exaggerate love. Many times you find someone falls in love with money. Someone falls in love with the things of this universe. But the major love you have to put in your life is the love of the Creator. يُحْبِبُكُمُ Allah, And Allah will love you also. وَيَغْفِرْ لَكُمْ And Allah will forgive ذُنُوبَكُمْ Your sins. If you love Almighty God, He will forgive all your sins. وَاللَّهُ غَفُورُ rahim. And Allah is ever merciful. Is غَفُورُ rahim. So brothers in Islam, you have to understand that if you love your Lord, if love the creator of the universe, you have to remember him. Let's say husband and wife, they're married. They remember one another. They, they write love poems for each other. The husband, the wife writes love poem for what? For his, for, 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 for her wife, for his wife, for his husband. So basically, we must understand that it's very important for us as Muslims to make sure that we must love and remember our creator in this universe.
That's why the Creator says in the Holy Quran, وَالَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَتَتْمَئِنُّ قُلُوبُهُمْ بِذِكْرِ اللَّهِ أَلَا بِذِكْرِ اللَّهِ تَتْمَئِنُّ الْقُلُوبُ That الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا Those who believe in the monotheism of Islam وَتَتْمَئِنُّ قُلُوبُهُمْ And also they are content and they be remember the Creator. They got this contentment in their hearts. Bidikrila in the remembrance of the Creator. Allah bidikrilahi tatmainu al-qulub. That in the remembrance of Allah, the heart finds rest. So basically, in us remembering the Creator, then our hearts also are actually feeling in comfort. To comfort ourselves as humanity, let us remember our Lord. And that is real love. In another aspect in the Holy Quran, we're told in Surah Baqarah, بَعْدَوُذْ بِاللَّهِ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ الرَّجِيمِ فَاذْكُرُونِي أَذْكُرُكُمْ وَاشْكُرُوا لِي وَلَا تَكْفُرُونِ That فَاذْكُرُونِ Remember me and I shall remember you. أَذْكُرُكُمْ وَاشْكُرُوا لِي وَلَا تَكْفُرُونِ And thank me, okay? And thank me, وَلَا تَكْفُرُونِ and also, do not be from the unbelievers. So this is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. فَذْكُرُونِي أَذْكُرُكُمْ وَاشْكُرُوا لِي وَلَا تَكْفُرُونَ So always remember your Lord and be thankful to your Lord. At the same time, remember that don't be a non-believer in your life. So brothers in Islam, let us understand one point here. That we as Muslims, we must try to remember not to mostly fall in love with the things of this universe. Because love is not last. There's a difference between real love and lust. So let us remember one point also. Let us not be lustful for the, thing, from the, for the things that we see in this world. That is why there's a lot of corruption in the love of materialistic world. This is like why people are beca becoming liars. They're becoming hypocrites. Because there is no more real love in our society. Allah SWT says in the Quran, بَعْدَ أُوذِ بِاللَّهِ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ الرَّجِيمِ زُجِّنَ لِلنَّاسِ حُبُّ الشَّهَوَاتِ مِنَ النِّسَاءِ That word we talked about, hub, has been used here. Hub means love. That Allah has beautified for, for mankind. What? Shahwa. Love for, for, love for what? For the things of this universe from women, وَالْبَنِينَ for children, وَالْقَنَاتُ الْمُقَنْطَرَةِ مِنَ الذَّهَبِ وَالْفِضَّةِ وَالْخَيْرِ الْمَسَوَّمَةِ وَالْأَنْعَامُ الْحَرْثِ ذَلِكَ مَتَاوُ الْحَاتِ الدُّنْيَا وَاللَّهُ عِنْدَهُ حُسْنُ الْمَعَابِ That men loves in this world, fiddha, diamond, silver, gold, and all these minerals in the world. At the same time, he loves kettles, he loves horses, so, but these are only things for this world. Allah is saying these are only things for this world. Wallahu indahu husnul ma'ab. Allah has got better things than what you see in this universe. That is paradise. If we love Allah, brothers and sisters in Islam, let us be mindful that in paradise, life is wonderful. Life is beautiful more than what you see in this universe. Paradise is majestic and it's a fantastic world. So today, Remember always to have what is called true love. And be moderate in the way you love worldly things. We are not saying don't go for worldly things, but go for them, but do not be too extreme. Your first love you must give to the Almighty Allah Azjal, because he's your creator. Yes, you can love your husband. Yes, you can love your wife. But mainly love the creator of this universe. So brothers and sisters in Islam, we must also remember about the love between brothers and sisters. In the society we live in nowadays, you find brothers and sisters, they're becoming hypocritical. Today we say, hey, Alhamdulillah, praise be to God, I got my best friend, but your best friend big bites you. Your best friend hates you. Be your best friend is a good plot on you. Even your sister got a plot on you. Even your brother's got a plot on you. So what you should do? You must always stay away from plotting evil things to your fellow human beings. Make sure you embrace love. So that's what Allah SWT says in the Quran, that all the believers, they are but a brotherhood. So there's no way that you can have this two-faced love or this hypocritical love. Let us make sure that the love we have must be real. We must also say or make in our uh, du'as or prayers, 
to our fellow friends and fellow human beings that inni uhibbuka fillah that I love you for the sake of Allah. Imagine if a world can be like that. That you see all your friends that I love you for the sake of Allah. But nowadays, the world has changed. Someone who says, well, I love you, there's a different thing maybe is targeting on you. Maybe he wants your money. And sometimes if you say to a man, I love you, that's more critical. They start to say, oh, watch out. This one is dangerous. Very dangerous. He's saying he loves you. There's a danger in it. So the word love has been twisted. It has been so exaggerated. But we must remember that if you love your fellow brother in Islam or a fellow human being, you must say, Annahu yuhibbuhu. This is from the hadith. That if, that if a man loves, loves his fellow human being, you must tell him, فَلْيُخْبِرُهُ أَنَّهُ يُحِبُّهُ فَلْيُخْبِرُهُ أَنَّهُ يُحِبُّهُ That you must make sure you, you may tell him that I love you. See, my, my best friend, I love you for the sake of Almighty Allah. I will never betray you. I will never be too fast. I will never, never be hypocritical. My wife, I love you so much. I love you, and I love you from the bottom of my heart. And the way you love must not be hypocritical, but must be inside. My husband, you the apple of my eyes. I love you for the sake of my Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So brothers and sisters in Islam, today you see your son, tell your son, I love you my son, for the sake of my Allah. You see your daughter, I love you my daughter, for the sake of my Allah. How many times are we showing words of love to our children? So inshallah, we're taking a short break. Don't run away, brothers and sisters, all my friends in Poshepstein and Kokstad, and in Europe, in America, please don't run away. Take a short break, relax, do something else, but make sure you come back to a beautiful topic today, which is called love. L-O-V-E. Let's guide the youngsters and the adults so that they understand that they must only wash that, that which is beneficial. They must only wash that which is going to give them the sunnah in their lives. Put a class in your life. Put sincerity in your life. This can be a way of making sure that people understand the din Islam, the legacy of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam who was the, the Quran is giving us good news. Good news that guide us in this universe and the hereafter brothers and sisters. A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Rajeem Bismillahi Rahman Rahim Welcome back brothers and sisters in Islam watching from all parts of the world and all the viewers that are Christian, Muslim whatever denomination today we're talking about love so we have to be mindful about one aspect that is the aspect of lust lust it's L U-S-T. Many times people are very lustful. And that has led so many people into major problems in life. Why is it that HIV AIDS is increasing in the world nowadays? It's because of lust. You find some stories that we're hearing is that people are using even social media these days. There's WhatsApp and, and Facebook and Twitter and Viber. They just fall in love like uh, pandemonium, like haywire, like uh, chaotic. And so many things are happening behind the scenes due to lust. So basically, brothers and sisters in Islam, we're hearing for so many accounts. Someone comes to me and say, I fell in love by happenstance on Facebook, a sheikh. Now what is happening to me? I'm so distressed because this person was abusing me. Or this person was doing things that are haram to me or this person was taking drugs, or this person gave me HIV AIDS. Some people confess to me that what should I do? I got HIV AIDS now. What am I going to tell my parents? What am I going to tell my friends? Someone will come to me. This person taught me even how to smoke cigarettes. This person taught me how to do things that are haram or things that are forbidden. So likewise, it's not right to go for forbidden love. Don't go for forbidden love. Don't eat what is haram. Make sure that as a Muslim, eat what is halal. Eat what your Lord say that you must eat. Don't be lustful when it comes to life. Because the consequences, they are major. That is why we have to control our feelings. Control your feelings as much as you can. Just imagine a day you tell yourself that, 
I really control myself that day. If I had let this love feelings to be so extreme, today I could have been having HIV AIDS, someone was going to be pregnant, illegally or unholy, someone was going to be in trouble. Brothers, these things are happening in the reality, not only in the Muslim world, globally. People are being lustful. So make sure that your love is going the right direction, not going the wrong direction, because you're going to get a red card. Never accept a red card in life because of lustful love. Brothers in Islam, another aspect that of Satanism. Some people are, are, are falling in love with Satanism. They're selling their soul to the devil. Make sure you don't do that as a human being. Never sell yourself to the devil. As much as you can, control yourself. And don't be too wasteful. Don't be too sinful when it comes to love. Don't commit crime because of love. You find a person who say, okay, we've heard about Valentine's Day. How can someone say, just because of Valentine's Day, I'm going to rob a bank? One thing I want to do, I want to buy someone I love uh, a ring. You rob a bank to buy a ring on Valentine's Day? So don't do any crime because you love somebody. That is also part of being lustful. That is part of being lustful. Valentine's Day, look at it. You love a person just for one day. You waste all your money buying red things. What is the red symbol about? Check behind the scenes. Check the point of views, historical point of views about Valentine. You find those people were pagans. They were not even believers in Almighty God. So at the end of the day, what I'm try, trying to say, we're not talking about, we're not saying romance is not halal. Romance is halal, but it must be the right way. At the same time, romance must be 365 days. Not just romance for one day on 14th, 14th of February and everything is going chaotic. There's red all over the world. No. Love must be every day. If you spoil your wife today, spoil her again tomorrow. If you spoil your, spoil your husband to, today, tomorrow again and again and again and again and again, spoil your husband. So brothers and sisters in Islam, don't commit any crime because of lustful love. Another one is madness. So many times people fall into uh, haram, love activities, and they end up being mad, like insane. So make sure whatever you do, be moderate. Be moderate and make sure you are following the sunnah of Muhammad sallallahu or the laws of Almighty God. And immorality. Many times you find there's a lot of immorality in our society, like I said about HIV AIDS. Most of the times, lustful love has led to a lot of immoral activities going on globally. Hence, it's chaotic. How many street kids have you seen in the streets? How did it start? It all started with lustful love. At the end of the day, now the street kid is eating in the bin, no shoes, suffering, life is hard. Just imagine that street kid is a result of the fact that some people had lustful love. So today, think about the future. Never ever engage in such type of uh, love, a lustful love. So another point is that of illegitimate kids, children, like I said, the street kids, for example, it's unplanned. They're not, that love is not planned. So make sure that the love you do must be holy. And that is the love to say, I'm going to get married. And abstain from any sexual intercourse before you get married. So they say no sex before marriage. It's true. And if the world can do like that, how are we going to live? We're going to live in a wonderful world. But just because these days people do what they want, you find people, they're saying condomize. We're not saying no, no condom. But what we're trying to say here is that this makes people to be lustful. How many adverts people are, are, are talking about maybe uh, in, the, in, the, in the newspapers? Most about the religious issues. But we hear about adverts of condomize, condomize. But what about abstinence? Don't sleep at all before marriage. These are the best ways of combating HIV AIDS and unplanned pregnancies and teenage pregnancies. So what we're talking about today is that it's about love. Make sure your love is right, not lustful love. Now a great lesson we're learning from the whole Quran is that of Yusuf alayhi salam. This has taught us that the dangers of lust, lustful love in life. What Allah is saying in the Quran, it says, 
بعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم وقال نسوة في المدينة امرأة العزيز تراود فتاها النفس قد شغفها حبا إنا لنراها في ضلال مبين The men of Fujiz and women in the city said the wife of Al-Aziz the king is seeking to seduce a slave a young man indeed she loves her violently verily she is in plain error so likewise this is this beautiful story it's in the Holy Quran to those non-Muslims who are watching ITV now Google story of Yusuf in the Holy Quran this story teaches us about the dangers of lustful love she had violent love as these this women are saying the word hubba has been used here. That violent love. means violent love. So likewise, it's not right to have lustful love. What was the end result of this, of this lady, the wife of the king? The, it was found later on that Yusuf or Joseph, peace be upon him, did not rap the wife of the of the king but she was lustful she wanted to seduce yusuf so so that she do he is going to do some unholy acts so likewise this scenario is happening many times in life that there's a lot of seduction that is happening everywhere because you can see even the dress of the people in the society what is happening and some people also will say i'm lusty for this person i got a crush on this person at the end of the day what is that love going to give you in life so ask yourself, what is going to benefit me? What is the future for me when I fall in love in this way? So make sure that the love you have in life, be very, very careful. Now let us understand one point here. The point of love as of marriage. This has been clarified clearly also in the Holy Quran. The meaning of which is from his signs is that he created for you and for second, he created for you as wajan means wives. Let us kunu ilaiha so that you will live with them. Wajala bainakum mawadda. Mawadda, this is another word now. It means love. Another word which means love. So Allah subhanahu put in us society love. Wa rahma and mercy. In that there are signs. Of the, to people that ponder or people that realize or people that actually uh, contemplate and follow the aspects of Sharia or follow the aspects of the laws of Almighty God or Almighty Allah. So brothers and sisters in Islam, we're learning here in this ayah that you must always live as married people. So today, you can say, I've had the talk of love. Look at yourself today, if you're not married, ask yourself, why are you not married? Because sometimes you say, I've got so many problems. But sometimes those problems will be solved in the marriage. But we're not saying just hurriedly do that. But make sure you seek from your Lord guidance. Pray to your Lord that, my Lord, I want to be guided and to know what is real love. So let us look, akhiran, about few points on love in the Holy Quran. Allah SWT says, Inna Allah la yuhibbul mu'tadeen. And truly Allah does not love the transgressors. Wallahu la yuhibbu kulla kaffarin athim. And Allah does not love those people that reject faith. Wallahu la yuhibbu zalimin. And Allah does not love those people that are oppressors. Innahu la yuhibbu al-musrifin. Allah does not love those people that west in Allah la yuhibbu kulla mukhtar fakhur in Allah does not love those people that are boastful in Allah yuhibbu al muhsinin and surely Allah love those people that are muhsinin or those people that do good deeds so who are those people that do good deeds these are the people that have got true love in their heart what is that true love true love for Allah 
Brothers and sisters in Islam, may Allah SWT make it easy for us to have real love in our life, not to be lustful. May Allah SWT protect us from the whisperings of Shaitan Rajim or Satan. May Allah SWT make it easy for us to follow the lifestyle of Yusuf alayhi salam, of Joseph, who controlled himself from the lustful love in the society or the satanic love in the society. And he was strong to be a person who loves his almighty Lord, almighty Allah Azjal, the creator of the universe. Wa akhir da'wana and alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.